using my jig. Got a whole range of sandpapers and wet and dry um, with this particular knife. Just going to give it an extra little bit of edge. With a bit of 1200. So, this is, if you haven't seen this before, it's a project very easily made. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. The measured angle on that is about 16, 17 degrees. Um, I know that from measuring it before and it's got it written here. So, and that side is actually uh, more like 19 degrees. So there's quite a bit of difference between flipping it. As a extra feature I added to my jig um, was these two little magnets. They are actually one pound each and they have a hole in the middle so that you can screw them in or bolt them or whatever. So they're actually, they don't move. And also we've got a bit of thermoplastic here just so that you can get it nice and level. And you see that, that gets a very good grip on that and that won't move very easily. But look, yeah. As so, then it's just a rather relaxing circular motion to start with. That's all it needs, both sides with 1200, because this does keep an edge quite well. I like to finish with a few strokes like that. Dragging it along the braid towards the front. And there we have it. My um, legal sized was 10 centimetres now is just under three inches to be legal. It does look awfully tragic, but you know, I don't really need the point anyway. The point was kind of pointless because I don't stab much um, and I don't often need that point. If I do, I can then use many other choices of knives. But the main thing is I can carry this around and it is a very good, thick blade. The lock has been it's enabled at the moment, but during transport I've weakened it slightly. Just slightly, so that it can actually push off. Um, and there you go. So now that's the lock played removed. So now it is legal. There's no locking device. Um, I've blunted the end off. It's not particularly sharp. It's in size. And it's a good knife. But without that lock, I find it's very dangerous. Because, you know, that is the worst, isn't it? So I carry the lock around 
for when I'm set up. And I can just pop that lock on there, like a clip, and lock it. Now I haven't got to worry about chopping my fingers off. Just run over it with the leather just a little bit in case there's a couple of burrs. Getting lighter as we go. So towards the end you're applying hardly any pressure. You're just running it along the grain of that leather. I mean it really does go through this card. I've got to be careful I don't ruin the contents. Okay. Yeah. Make a coffee quickly. Oh shit, it's gone through two. Probably should have demonstrated that in a better way. Um, it was sharper than I actually thought. And yeah, it just goes through it like, like silk. that is cutting. I actually can't believe how um, sharp that knife is actually. I thought that I might have just ripped into this packet a little bit. Um, but as it turns out, it went straight through that one. even into that one and starting a little bit on the back so I just sliced through the cardboard a whole packet and a gap in between a little gap uh, made a hell of a mess but uh, damn that's sharp When something's this sharp, I've got to remind myself that I've got to be a bit cautious with it. Because that, well, that, like, that went through it like silk. Literally like a knife through butter. I applied no pressure or anything. Just ran it down. And it destroyed my coffee. Hurt me where it knows where to hurt. And this, of course, is portable. You know, you can take that pretty much anywhere, can't you? It's not much kit. Um, depending. If you're going somewhere for a week, you might want to take that. <laughs>